So far, the mentioned upgrades to the Russian army that I've shown, like the 6B47 helmet and the AK-12, have been somewhat mediocre incremental upgrades. But one thing that hasn't been mediocre would be their new body armor system made by Technicom, featuring aluminum oxide ceramic plates called granite and robust airman-lined plate carriers. Originally introduced with Ratnik, the 6B43 plate carrier had removable airmid inserts and was intended to come with a plethora of Goss 6A ceramic plates that could be added to its various sections. Only the main front and back plates were ever adopted, and over time, the 6B43 was replaced by the 6B45 carrier because the airmid inserts had a habit of settling at the bottom of the 43. The 6B45 has its airmid soon in and features lighter Gost 5A rated plates. Since both the 6A and the 5A plates are still in circulation, both plate types will be tested today against armor-piercing ammunition inside of a new 6B45 carrier. Even from the onset, this system is a huge upgrade from steel plates and is a great standardization from the rarer ceramic plates that have been in use by the Russian military. The new system is lighter and of better protection than older armors. We will be testing those older armors in the future, but I wanted to get the modern Ratnik stuff complete first as it is the most relevant. The plates themselves are surrounded by rubber and airmid coating, but I'm not sure how the 6A and the 5A differ internally yet. We'll find out together. The 6B45 plate carrier itself has airmid on the front and back, as well as the cummerbund, with pockets for side plates that, as far as I can tell, were never issued to troops. Side plates or no, the 6B45 beats the hell out of the 6B23 in every way. This video is sponsored by Commando Store and features their Ghost to NATO gas mask adapter. This adapter allows for Ghost standard gas masks to accept NATO 40mm gas mask filters. There are also bundles available that offer this adapter as well as the P100 and Cap1 CBRN warfare filters. This adapter is a great pickup if you're sick of breathing your shitty chromium containing Russian filter or you're of the mind that things are going to get much worse. Personally, if things ever get bad enough to need one of these, we're probably doomed anyway. But you never know, a good setup could allow you to breathe just long enough to escape a chemical environment. Or maybe you're sick of the black mold in your Hershovka. At the end of this video, I will have a chart that summarizes the results, so don't worry too much if you lose track. The very first shot we took was the M993 three-way tungsten round against the stronger 6A granite plate out of our 21-inch FAL. Unfortunately, though not unexpectedly, the round penetrated through the center. We wanted to give this plate the best possible chance to beat our penetrator, and it wasn't up to the task. While some aluminum oxide level 4 NIJ plates can beat tungsten 308, they are few in number. Let's try M995 556 tungsten out of an M4. No serious deformation and no penetration. The back of the plate hardly budged. Not a bad result. The next shot is for the NIJ level 4 qualification. An M2 30-06 AP round out of our 21 inch U9. Although the plate stopped the round, the deformation is pretty significant at 2 inches, however, we're not using standard Roma Plastilina clay. Our material is a bit softer, so the deformation might be slightly exaggerated. The rear of the plate on the other hand looks quite dramatic to me. It would save your life for sure, but I don't think this plate would qualify as NIJ level 4 without some better trauma padding. The next idea we had was to test the resilience of the plate by hitting it multiple times in the same area with M855A1 rounds. These are the US Army's new 556 round that have hardened steel tips. All were stopped with no deformation, and the small fragments were stopped by the neck protector. Shifting to the right slightly, we shot three more rounds. This time, only one round was stopped, suggesting that from close range, it takes four hits to the same area with the US Army's Alpha 1 round in order to penetrate the Gauss 6A plate. 
let's see how the newer 5A plate does. Starting out with 30-06 M14A1 armor piercing incendiary. A center hit makes a significant fireworks show, but no penetration and the deformation appears to have been absorbed well. Let's try M2 30-06 AP again. Another low hit with very similar 2 inch deformation. Again, the plate does a good job of stopping the round, but needs better padding or maybe a different backer design, like polyethylene instead of the Kevlar backer it currently uses. The only difference between the 6A and the 5A plates that we could find was that the 6A plate has many more layers of Kevlar on the rear. The ceramic tiles are the same thickness on both plates. We didn't want to do an endurance test on the 5A plate because it was coming apart. We didn't cut it in two like this. The force of the impact was pressing the ceramic through the rubber. When we took the plate apart, we found that after two 30 out 6 hits, the 5A granite plate still had most of its tiles, so I kind of regret not shooting it more. Check out that 30 out 6 round stuck into the backer there. Pretty wicked. Those tiles are made of aluminum oxide ceramics. Typically that kind of material is white. We took an XRF spectrometer and the unusual red color appears to be from manganese mixed in. A Technicom employee told me it's also from iron oxide forming, and we did find trace amounts of that as well. It sounds like these materials are just impurities. Aluminum oxide is used in a lot of applications like spark plugs for cars. You definitely should not google what ninja rocks are, but we found that these tiles can definitely perform the same function. They go straight through car windows, no problem. These results against western threats are highly encouraging, and while there's still room for improvement, the granite plates represent substantial gains for the overall protection of a Russian soldier, and make his body immune to small arms hits in most situations. I'd like to give a huge thanks to Chad Davis for donating the 5A plate and SAD Operator for donating the 6A plates. This channel was made possible from generous donations from viewers like these two. And a huge thanks to my sponsor Commando Store for enabling the slow motion testing of this armor and several others. Commando Store was integral in getting these tests recorded and paid for. They made the clay backstop as well as rented the slow motion camera and even paid for many of the armors. Their military surplus inventory is of obvious interest to anyone watching this video. Go check them out for all of your gear needs. Thank you and goodbye.